And you haven't even got one of them clapperboards either. Oh my god. <laughs> Right, okay, ready? Go on. <laughs> what are these? How many questions have you got there? Are you got oh, loads. Right, I think it's about 15 there. Shut up, Ronnie. That is slept. I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm just getting my head down there. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Sean? <laughs> Fuck me, get on with it, come on. <laughs> A poster on the wall in the hub advertising the music group and we thought why not give it a go we've always liked music and we've been together 28 years and we wanted to do something new didn't we together yeah we love it i love it yeah um it's good because we get to do something that we really like don't we mm -hmm. uh, and it works most Sometimes. of the time most of the time <laughs> it works uh, He's done drums, guitar, what else? Yeah, just the drums. Just yeah, yeah and a bit of singing. Guitar. He didn't like the singing, though. No, not got a good voice, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> He's singing to you. <laughs> I'm just trying to concentrate, that's what it is, and I've got to try and keep certain rhythms, and, and she's always. You've got your mouth wide open, shut your mouth. Like. <laughs> <laughs> the ideas that I formulated in my head of what I liked about music 20 years ago don't necessarily apply now. And um, the songs that we do that I've come to love, and I've even got into other bands that I would have 20 years ago might have hated. And these challenges of great experiences. I love music and I, and I love playing with music with people. Um, it's just it's just nice to come somewhere every week for a couple of hours or a few hours where there's music happening and and people are enthusiastic about it and getting involved. Sometimes things just click and work. Sometimes they don't. Um, yeah. Like I say, we don't have any disagreements, pretty much. You always hear stories about people in bands arguing and falling out and stuff like that, but we all get on dead well, mm. don't we? So. Fifteen years. About fifteen years, yeah. Quite a long time. Of, of heroin addiction. Lost for a long time, haven't we? Yeah. A very long time. But well, that's all behind us now. We've just got to take it a day at a time. And get on that's with it. That's all we do. Every day. Sitting on my own, chewing on a bone, a thousand million miles from home. Three of them, Megan's. She's 23. Um, Callum's 13, and little Isla's only three. Got something so, about having a child every ten every years, haven't we? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the big ten year gap. We're not having no another more. one though no, now. <laughs> so yeah. But no, I think they're all proud and they can all see how much yeah. how well we're doing and how, how much we've come on. Where do you think the band should go? Where do you think it should progress to? Good question. Um, where would you like to see it go? Million dollar record contract. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I don't want to be one of them YouTube bellends. <laughs> Hello YouTubers, you know you're yeah. And then you go, you go, yeah, it's just a simple, you just put your finger, that finger there, that finger there, and then just go. So, so that's lesson three, now. <laughs> Be a part of something that's giving something back 
into the community and to do for recovery. If there's family or friends in the audience. It makes it easier that for me. Because as you know, Callum, our son, is is thirteen now and he's done filming. With and yourself. With yourself and and, and he loves it. And he loves doing it. And when he's there and he's saying, Come on, Mum, come on, Dad and he wants yeah. gives you, you know a bit what I mean? more. Gives of you a bit boost, more of a, yeah. To to do to think that he's there to watching us. And, and, and makes you feel proud as well. Yeah. That's a workout for you, that. A culmination of using drugs and drinking throughout my adult life. And I was offered a few things. And one of those things was um, the opportunity to be in a band. And I was offered a few things with Pathways and creative remedies and since then I took them and I've not looked back and it's like whatever obstacles I put my way as challenges, be it playing gigs, learning songs, it's challenges that are, uh, it might be uncomfortable, it might be hard but it's nowhere near as hard as the stuff that I used to inflict on myself as far as pain goes and misery. I wish we could do more. Oh, I'd be here every day. <laughs> <laughs> it would be you as well, wouldn't you? Cigarettes and alcohol. Listen, we're not promoting him at all. We just like the song, so I hope you enjoy it. Don't do that white line, cause if it comes on top, you've got to make it happen. So it's that to keep your mouth Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> is that all? What we've managed to do is down to Sean. It was his idea to set up a music group. I've just been there to support him, really. It's all, he's put a lot of effort into the whole thing. So to the point of looking for songs that the group can do, working out what all the different chords are. And, you know, he spent hours doing it each week. Uh, so I just want to thank him for that. He's, he's been great. I was sort of um, a teenager in the years of uh, Britpop, so it was very much cigarettes and alcohol culture. I was also a chef, uh, so again, I was indoctrinated into a culture of partying hard, working hard, which is what I did from basically the age of 16 to the age of 39. <laughs> lost an awful lot of people, lost an awful lot of um, sort of things that I held dear to me. I said I was struggling to find ways to fill up the void that's sort of left when you stop taking drugs, stop drinking. It takes up a lot of your time and consumes a lot of your energy. And we had a discussion about what sort of things I was into and I've always been into music. And I said I've tried to learn to play the guitar a few times in the last 26 years. Uh, and they said, well, try going along to the music group. And it was a big step for me, really. I didn't used to like going to places on my own, didn't used to like meeting new people on my own without a drink inside me. But I thought, well, I'll have a go. And, Walked in and everyone was really friendly and gave me a guitar, showed me a few chords and it went on from there. Met some really nice people, Dave, Paula, John, Howard. Basically I just thought, well this is something that I'm really enjoying doing so I'd like to put a bit more time into it. So I started coming a bit earlier to help set up, uh, managed to get involved a bit with the Friday group which is where, where the band The Recoverers come from. Um, so I'm sort of the understudy there now and it's led to me asking about volunteering. I've been looking at some volunteering opportunities with, um, I didn't know who I wanted to volunteer, but I knew I wanted to do something within like the journey that I'd been on myself, uh, whether it was helping 
people in recovery or helping with the music and coming along and having like two hours or four hours a week of uh, just sitting there and with like-minded people who are in the same sort of boat as me. I could talk to them about my problems if I wanted or I could just talk about music if we wanted. I found it's been one of the biggest helps. Um, and I've said this before and I will say it again that if I hadn't been coming along to the music groups I'd have probably dropped out of the whole recovery thing a long, long time ago. The thrill of actually performing was amazing. It made it even more better. It made it even better for me because my son um, and his grandparents who he lives with at the moment, they came along and sort of saw some of the hard work that we've put in, some of the hard work that I've put in over the last sort of 12 months. Um, yeah, it was very, very nerve-wracking, sat there, shaking, tried to play with my sunglasses on and found I couldn't see the, couldn't see the guitar strings. <laughs> um, but yeah, just the thrill of it was, was amazing and um, really looking forward to doing it again at some point soon, hopefully. Having something to focus on and something to really look forward to, I know has really helped uh, a lot of the band members. So I just want to keep doing it and I, I want to encourage more people to do it as well. It's really, really important to me. It's like, it's, uh, out of everything I do, I've got like quite a lot on and out of everything I do through the week, it's the thing I look forward to the most. It's because I love music and because like, We've got a group of people who, who are really into it and enthusiastic about it. And it's going somewhere and it's always going somewhere, you know what I mean? John? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> a little informal chat. <laughs> Fine. Hi, <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm following you home as well. Got to see how you get back and through to the place. <laughs> I don't go home, I just stay here. You just and sleep. Just sit outside. <laughs> well, you could have saved the milk, you could have had it later. No, I just like hibernate, I just like, go into a shut down, I gotta sit outside and go. Yeah. <laughs> you can switch off. And then Pete comes and turns, turns the switch on on the back of You're gonna say Pete turns Yeah, I'm gonna have to Yeah. Don't take it off. Dare you. <laughs> Piss off with that, will ya? <laughs>